एवरेज इंक्रीज इन मिल्क प्राइजेज ओवर लास्ट फाइव और सिक्स इज लेस देन द फूड इन्फ्लेशन dairy will be contributing 45% to the world milk production india has to implement white revolution 2 Hi everyone welcome to another episode of TUI Business Bites. Today we have with us RS Sodi he is president of Indian Dairy Association and also ex MD of Amul and he is going to tell us about the future of the dairy sector and whether milk prices will continue to go up in the coming months. Hi sir. Hello Sumit ji how are you? Thank you. Thank you sir for being on this uh, chat show and my first question to you is that why are milk prices going up my wife may also not be happy with the price of dairy products going up especially during last one and half year where the milk and dairy products prices have increased around 14 to 15% and okay. uh, is correct also so from consumer perspective when you talk this price increase or you call it inflation food inflation you talk it mangai is correct yeah. but you see in any agriculture produce there are two perspective one is what we have been talk second is from producer point of view farmers yeah. point of view this increase in price is from his perspective is increase in farmers income right and i last if you see last 50 Fifteen months is a fourteen, fifteen percent, much more than the inflation. But if you see last three years, it is less than seven percent. And if you see last ten years, ten years back, full cream milk price was on forty-two. Today, it is sixty-six. Right. So, yeah. So around fifty-two percent increase has happened last ten years, and we know all salary class people, everybody increase the doubled in ten years. so but i can tell you is it was more of demand supply because during covid farmers suffered uh, because of less demand and last one year the input prices that is feed cost has increased by 20 to 25% right so just to compensate that milk price needs to be increased and uh, is is a uh, milk is a like any the food product the very highly ply price elastic so i think uh, gradually prices will fall in line below the inflation okay so you are saying that as of now for example the full cream price is 66 rupees a liter so it's not going to go up by too much yeah it will be less than the uh, food inflation average price increase in milk and milk products prices will be 5 to 6% only over a period of time one year may be higher other way during covid practically no price increase happened two years where the inflation was there so one has to take into mind that uh, cost of production increase that is why that uh, you know a lot of startups are coming up in the dairy industry in dairy sector so two questions there as a consumer how do i distinguish and what is the road ahead for the industry Now, as far as the industry is concerned let me tell you dairy industry or animal husbandry is industry in india has got the maximum potential one side it is ensuring the food security of 1.38 billion people today which will be 1.65 billion by 2050 or 2047 amrit kal time but the other side this is the only industry which can ensure very sustainable livelihood for the rural farmers right See, india is developing what about bharat so this is the only today dairy total industry is of around 11 lakh crore another 10 years it will be 30 lakh crore is the biggest industry and around 90 million families are dependent on dairy industry so okay. it's a big source of livelihood so every 25 years dairy or milk production multiplies 3x so if you say 50 years back we were 24 25 years back we were 75 million metric ton today we are 220 million ton after and uh, we are contributing to 23% of world milk production and that 25 years by 2047 will be producing 620 million metric ton of milk which will be 45% of 
वर्ल्ड मिल्क प्रोडक्शन तो मिल्क और एनिमल हजबेंड्री इज गोइंग टू बी दिग कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटर to not only national gdp but also to the agriculture gdp it is to do 30% to the agriculture gdp and when india got independent its contribution was just less than 1% right so you you can see how much dairy and animal husbandry sector is going to contribute right 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 okay and in that regards with whatever you are expecting the gdp contribution you know of the dairy sector to be uh, what is your take on the government's focus on the cooperative you know sectors in the budget well samriti ji i think if you heard the honorable prime minister speech the first thing she started the need or government focus on cooperative structure which is right right because co- cooperative development will develop the bharat Hmm. because cooperatives are basically a organization owned by small people small farmers small service provider right. so first first of all in the budget to make cooperatives very contemporary like any other business around 2500 crore rupees when been budgeted for computerization of 63000 primary cooperatives right so 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 that these primary agriculture cooperatives can work for the different uh, requirements of village maybe for milk credit fertilizer seed or for anything right and, al- and also let me tell you there is no centralized data for the cooperatives in india so now with the forming of cooperative ministry center that initiative has started to have centralized data for all the cooperatives and third thing very good in this budget was that for storage of the farmers produce there is a budget has been kept to have decentralized storage capacity of village but owned by the cooperative society right similarly similar to compete with the corporate sector uh, for to new cooperatives 15% corporate tax has been otherwise they had, we were paying 30% so like any other corp- corporate or to specially you mentioned about the startup that is there and uh, also because corporate is a remote area where they have to withdraw sometime cash because banking facility is not there so that limit also increased to from 1 crore to 3 crore per annum so yes. they they can pay cash where banking facility is not there to the member so i think government has understood the need of corporates and uh, by giving the due emphasis in the budget i think lot more to come okay okay now my one final question to you is that the world acknowledges india's milk revolution and as the government is saying we are in the amrit kal so what is the next big thing that you see for the dairy sector of india well one thing is sure that if you have seen this in this budget government of india has understood the need of dairy and animal husbandry sector so budget for dairy and animal husbandry sector has increased by the 50% if you see the budget from 3000 to budget has been uh, increased to around uh, 4300 so th- one is that second is what i feel is what india needs is not subsidies in dairy so this time if you see budget subsidies have reduced the investment of infrastructure agriculture infrastructure has increased uh, tremendously yes. so that is the very good uh, thing and uh, what we expect is that in future what we india needs is wide revolution 2 investment and that is not in one budget that spread over 2025 years yes. see 1000 rupees investment in wide revolution 1 has made india world largest producer which is today 11 crore rupees no subsidy so okay. in future if right around 10 to 15000 crore rupees can be invested for operation flood 2 i think nobody can stop us uh, reaching to the level of uh, 620 million metric ton then 45% and it is going to be dairy and animals mineral going to contribute minimum 50 to 60% or to the rural income 